I am MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Interferent. Thank you, DigiKey. This week it is 3M, Lydia. What is I on MPI? This week. Okay, I love 3M stuff because, of course, uh, it's everywhere. American company, uh, Minnesota Mining Corporation, uh, and, but now officially 3M. Uh, and they make uh, really good quality tools and products. Even if we ne don't necessarily buy electronic components from them, you're going to use their stuff. So this week, um, I was really psyched to see that DigiKey is highlighting VHB tape from 3M, which might be familiar to you, This that red overlay plastic. Uh, if you've done um, electronics or assembly or um, manufacturing, that looks really familiar. VHB tape, very high bond tape, is uh, apparently it's been around since the 1980s. It was invented um, at 3M and they've have very, they have a wide variety of different types and shapes and sizes. So just because it's called VHB tape doesn't mean they're all the same. There are a couple um variations to it and digikey stocks all the different types and so i thought it's a good time to like kind of cover this product and then you can go over digikey and buy a reel or a sheet um so vhb tape i think you know was originally designed to replace rivets in like architectural or automotive applications where you're you have a panel and you want to attach a panel onto um, a frame uh, substrate like up there upper right you know uh, for an automotive trailer you have these panels that you may want to remove and adjust eventually, but um, riveting is actually going to be um, uh, is going to give you a like a rackety like tick tock sound because the rivets eventually get loose and the whole thing rattles. Whereas if you bond it with VHD, VHB tape, um, it's going to be a nice uh, strong bond. Uh, and then it was used for architectural uses. So you see in the mid left there, I think that's um, the MIT uh, Computer Science Building. Well, it's any kind of funky uh, style building with these panels um, over it, um, architectural panels. Those can also be VHB bonded on. And then, you know, for white goods, you see a washing machine um, and also for, uh, you know, the signage um, that's also really common. But now it's also really used often for electronics. Uh, if you are attaching screens or panels, or you want to, you know, have a battery on one side uh, bonded onto an enclosure. Um, you know, I got, uh, I remember I got um, uh, a cable holder and it had VHB tape and that's how you would attach it onto your um, uh, desk. And, you know, it's been 10 years and it's, it's still there, even though like I bump into it almost every day and I yank on it with cords in it. So, uh, you know, this, this tape is used in a lot of different functions um and electronics is kind of you know even though a lot of people might be used to using something like hot glue um which you know is very fast and easy but of course and 3m you know makes hot glue guns and and hot glue uh sticks um you know good for quick bonding but not very strong peels very easily epoxy is okay but um you know it's very messy um i've used epoxy a lot to to bond different components together in uh, build, you know, you have the, the enclosure and then you have to have the PCB and a display and buttons and sensors. Um, I've used epoxy before. Epoxy is really good, but it's it's very messy to use um, and it's very easy to mess it up if you don't mix well enough uh, and you don't know. It's like, you know, two days later you check and it's, it didn't harden. It's very annoying. Also, um, if you don't pick the exact right epoxy, it can crack off. Um, you do have to prime the surfaces really well, which is one of the nice things about the VHB tape is that, you know, you can do prep, but you can actually get away with uh, not a lot of prep. Um, another option is foam tape. We've used foam tape. Uh, this this sort of stuff is, um, you know, often engineers see this on the back of breadboards is that white uh, foam, um, kind of thick foam tapes, a couple of millimeters thick. And it's good for attachment, but it does eventually dry out. Um, and it's not meant for high temperature or cold temperature uses, whereas VHB tape, you know, this is much cheaper, but VHB tape, tape you saw it's used for automotive, for architectural. It's what, you know, it can be weatherproof and temperature, hot and cold resistant. It doesn't dry out and, and crack off. Um, you know, so I checked out the VHB uh, design guide and they, you know, they talk about all the different variations and some use cases. Um, and, you know, one thing that I didn't realize is that uh, first off, there are some, there is some preparation steps you want to take to get the best bonding. 
and um, there are different varieties of VHB tape. So, um, you know, first up, to get, you can actually get like stronger than rated bonding if you do surface uh, cleaning. So for glass, for example, you want to use silane, and then for other materials, there's different solvents. They actually have in the design guide a list of all like you're using wood, or you're using metal, or you're using aluminum, or you're using glass. Here's what you do to surface prep. Um, next, you can abrade, and abrading, especially for smooth surfaces, will um, let the glue seep in a little bit better. It's not essential, but if you do it, um, you're going to get um, much better bonding grip at the end of the three-day um, uh, curing cycle. Priming, you know, is another thing I didn't realize. Like, you know, you you can prime it. Um, again, I think it's going to be for outdoor uses where you really want to have like the best bond possible but you can actually kind of like skip these if you're just if your things are clean and you don't need it to um, stand up to you know to automotive or industrial use cases and then finally um you can apply it and uh they do actually talk a little bit about automotive but automatic application like using robotics um, or laminators and they have like fixed laminators or you can do manually right you can actually just like by hand cut a piece of tape put it on and then you do want to use a roller uh, to attach it and um you know you the i think we covered like 3m rollers before the, the you want to roll it on with the one side of the adhesive and then you know let the acrylic glue seep in and then you can pull the red plastic cover off and then attach to the other side and then apply pressure again um, so it looks like you need about 15 PSI, which is, you know, again, a human can easily apply it. And then another thing I noticed is that, uh, they mentioned you can heat up the bond, um, up to, uh, 38C. So just a little bit hotter than, um, room temperature. Like you definitely don't like maybe a, a light heat gun. And, uh, you'll also get much better, uh, bonding if you do that. I guess the, the heat activates the glue a lot better. And then within 20 minutes i think you get 50 percent bond strength and 90 percent bond strength at 24 hours and after three days it's 100 percent um and yeah they do have tutorials on how to remove it but it's kind of not meant to be removable like once you glue it on you're supposed to to keep it on um hot temperatures will make it bond better cold temperatures don't bond as well but you know you usually as long as you overspect the hold strength you need for the cold temperatures um you know just make sure that uh you have enough tape to hold your thing on even if it's you know gets down to like zero or negative 20 degrees c um okay so the i mentioned that there's families so there's more than one kind of vhb tape which i did not realize um uh, so some of them have different adhesives on one or the other side um some of them have thicker or thinner foam you know your shear strength is not going to be as good if you have a thick foam because the thick foam itself is not going to have a lot you know it's going to move back and forth there are ones that are good for high temperature low temperature uh, general purpose different colors um they do have uh, i thought this graphic was really handy if, you, if it's it's in one of the um, design guides they tell you based on your the surface energy of your um one of your substrates you know basically like will the glue be able to seep into the uh, surface that'll affect which kind of um, adhesive you want um, but the ninth, you know, the 4950 is kind of the standard issue, kind of like everyone uses that. Um, and then on the bottom, it has which material. So if you're connecting, trying to attach something to silicone, right, which is uh, very low surface energy, it's very hard to stick stuff to. Uh, you use the LSE family, you're probably gonna have to pay more if you're using um, metal, especially metal or glass that you can abrade lightly, the 4951 uh, will do the good job. So, um, and then of course, primer will help. It's, you know, it seems if you have a, these, especially silicone, I'm kind of surprised you can even stick anything to it. It's uh, usually so inert. And they also have a, you know, more interactive selector uh, at the 3M site. If you just like Google 3M VHB, it'll take you to the selector and you can tell it what you want and what sizes. And of course you can get customized um, sizes and shapes if you need. So they come in reels normally and DigiKey stocks all the different reels. Um, I'll say that sometimes there's an image of a reel, but the image is like, it's a generic image. So look at the number. So for example, there's one, the top one is six inches by 18 yards. And the one below it is three quarters of an inch by 18 yards, but the image is the same. But obviously the six inch one is going to be like way thicker. So way fatter, it's six inches wide. 
you're going to pay a little bit more for the wide ones too. Uh, you can also get sheets, uh, by the way, that you can die cut. Um, and they do mention that as, as a, one of the services that you can get. Um, you know, if you have an unusual shape and you want like curves and cutouts, um, you can buy it by the sheet, get a die cut. You know, it's going to be more expensive than just strip, um, but you'll get, you know, perfect shaped outlines. VHB tape. Available on DigiKey. We also have a video. Yes. DigiKey did this video and they say, do not try this at home. But every video I look, because I was like, oh, I want to find like a video about VHB tape. Every video is kind of the same. People just love sticking things you're not supposed to stick together. Um, and then doing a video. It's like, okay. here's something that makes things stick. But by the way, never do this. But we have to demonstrate it anyways. So uh, Lady Ada sent me this video and she's like, oh, here, get these two clips. So from the beginning and the end. And yeah. then in the middle, they have how to use the VHB yeah. tape. But let's just get to the so, fun part. So I smooshed it together. I glued it together. The VHB tape. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another Geek Moment. Today we'd like to feature 3M's VHB, or Very High Bond, dual-sided adhesive products. We have a couple demos set up to show you some of its attributes, but remember, safety first. Now I'd like to show you just how easy it is to use VHB by assembling these two sheets of aluminum. First thing we need to do is clean both of them with a mixture of 50% isopropyl alcohol and 50% water, which can be found in most stores. Now that those are both prepped, we need to adhere our tape to both to this. We'll roll that pressure. Our second chunk of VHB. Got that. We'll roll that out. Now I just take the backing off here. Now we'll put the top plate on. roll pressure on both pieces of VHB under there. Now we're complete. After 20 minutes, this will be 50% adhered. After one day, it'll be 90%. After three days, 100% adhesion. As I mentioned, VHB is great at handling dynamic loads. We decided to test it under a static load condition as well. While filming this portion of the video, I've been suspended by the plates I assembled earlier. The VHB has been enough to suspend my 250 pounds of body weight. Next time you need adhesives in your product, think of 3M's VHB. Thanks for watching.